Hello, my name is Laura. I live in my van that I converted myself and I travel with Snufkin and my two guinea pigs. So why don't you join me on my adventures? Here on my channel, Destination Unknown. I've been going through Germany now and I already had the problem with the van come up like two or three times luckily like if I uh, turn off the engine like stop somewhere it will reset itself but I'm always like on edge like overtaking on the motorway and it's gonna happen and I'm gonna lose all my power which did happen already <laughs> I went to a garage and it was no English and my van was too tall, I think that's what he meant, he was like going too tall. <laughs> so I'm going to try again tomorrow, I think at like a bigger town maybe, like a mechanic can help me. It's just like stressful because that loss of power thing comes up and it's like I'm always worrying it's going to happen and I'm like stressing out. And my aircon still don't work and it's been 30 degrees. Like, I thought I got it fixed. So annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, apart from that, it's going alright. <laughs> I think I'll stay here for the night. Yeah, it seems pretty quiet. And I've got shade so that's what's important um, I'm just calling off and I'm gonna walk around to the supermarket and see what I can get or some food I'm hungry I've already eaten today so yes that's what I'm doing in a minute <clears throat>
just pulled up at Airy on camping and they put me next to a tent in my van. <laughs> I hope I don't have to use my heater and stuff, it's going to be super noisy. It's going to be warm. <laughs> Yay! And the toilets are like just there. Wait, there in the wooden thing. Shower and toilets and water and I've got electric if I need it. Even though I don't. <laughs> How oh, nice!
enough with playing the goddamn victim Despite your own view Hate to break it to you But your feelings are correct At one point you were an okay person Why did you let your condition worsen? Thank <laughs> you. 